So, new for 2023, we have an award named for Jill Bradbury. Jill passed away in 2020 and was the provider of our conference medical services for years. Uh, Jill was a force of nature and brilliant to work with and went above and beyond to care for, for our delegates. And despite always being on duty, <laughs> Jill was also the life and soul of the after party. <laughs> so Jill is absolutely irreplaceable at our conference and in our hearts. And for this reason, we developed an award with Christiane, Rafi, and Remy, her children. The Jill Bradbury Award will be awarded to an individual group or organization providing excellent services to people who use drugs. This inaugural award to be presented will have a special focus on superlative service provision during the COVID-19 pandemic. So it is my absolute pleasure to announce the winner of the Jill Bradbury Award, which is the network of drug user organizations comprising AVIL. So welcome representatives to the, to the stage. So I'm going to start chatting while you make your way down. The, the network of drug user organisations in Australia has had a significant impact on harm reduction. Currently, these organisations are NUA, Quinn, Quiver, NTAC, the South Australia CNP, Peer-Based Harm Reduction Western Australia, Karma, and Harm Reduction Victoria. So there should be a lot more people on this stage right now. <laughs> the network is responsible for policy and advocacy on the ground and for delivering services to their communities. As we know, engagement in drug policy reform is seldom a funded activity, and like all harm reduction, these organizations suffer from underfunding, but nevertheless, they're heavily involved and dedicated to the policy sphere and to making a difference. This is alongside their essential provision of services and their peer leadership and the expertise that they bring to this work that absolutely nobody else can. So it's my great honor to present the award, the Jill Bradbury Award, to the, network, the peer networks of Australia. Um, I just want to thank everyone for this award. Um, yeah, it's a really important award, and actually, I think the first time I ever went to a harm reduction conference was in Melbourne, so it's fantastic to have um, the Harm Reduction International here again. Um, I just want to say thanks to the, the, for the award. Um, we're all extremely passionate people, and we would still be here without the funding but it is um, good to actually fund as appropriately uh, because we would be able to do so much more with more funding. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.